Hey everybody, how you doing? Hello! Alright, so a few disclaimers really quick. I am not a public speaker, so I am nervous, but we're going to push through, alright? Cool. Also, second disclaimer. The views expressed today are not of FDUs at all. These are of myself and Dr. Osako. Alright? Um, just a little background of this series right now. Um, this is kind of an extension of my development as a black man in the sense. Um, Trayvon Martin, 2012, that was the first thing that really um, kicked me off to really realizing, oh, it's real out here. I always realized that all my life. Then, 2015, Freddie Gray occurred. I came to school mad. No one knew. And when I looked around, no one was talking about the situations going on. And that kind of had the idea sparked in my mind of, what can I do to actually call to change on campus to make sure that our students are aware of what's going on? So, Charlottesville uh, occurred this past year, and our dean of students actually brought up the idea of what can we do for our students to make sure that they're learning the things that they need to learn, and that they're addressing their privileges, etc. So, this idea was really sparking my mind even more, like, oh, this is an opportunity for me actually to make an impact on the FDU community. So, um, with this, the birth of the Real Talk session kind of uh, originated. So my idea of the Real Talks uh, sessions series is to provide a space to represent and address the issues of all people of color. Um, and also on the flip side of that, it's an opportunity for non-people of color to be able to actually experience the candid conversations that they usually aren't privy to. And in turn, my goal is for those individuals to actually take that knowledge, the information that they were able to access, and to use their privilege to fight these inequalities and injustices that are going on. So that is the premise of the Real Talk sessions. Um, hopefully I'll be having other topics ranging from a lot of different things, but 